Google offers a variety of free programs you can use for your work as a student. The one we'll focus on here is Google Docs. This is a word processing program similar to Microsoft Word. While Docs doesn't offer as many features, the pros far outweigh this con. You can access your Google Doc anywhere you have internet access. Your Google Drive, which is the larger storage system for all your files, automatically saves your work as you create it. You no longer have to fear a malfunction that loses all of your hard work. There's even a way to access your file's history so you can restore earlier versions in case something does get messed up. The two requirements for accessing Google Docs is you need Google Chrome installed on your computer and you need your LCC email and password. If you're missing one or both of these, go back and get those features established. You have numerous ways to actually access Docs. You can do a search for it or just go to the Google homepage. The easiest way to access your Google Storage or Google Docs is to just go to Google itself. If you don't have this as a home page, you can go ahead and just go up into your URL bar and type in Google Docs. From there, you'll find the link, and then you can access the personal Go to Google Docs option. From there, you'll be able to sign in using your LCC email account. Now, when you sign into Google, it's very important that you're using your LCC email account because it is able to connect to connect Canvas to Google Docs. If you use a personal email account, you're not going to be able to have Canvas sync with it to be able to submit assignments. Personally, I feel just going to the Google homepage is the easiest. From there, in the top right corner, you'll see a blue sign in button. If this option doesn't show up on your screen, you can also go to the left of that where there are the nine squares. This is access to your Google Apps and Drive. If you click on that, you see your drive there. And this is where you can access any stored file that you've created using a Google program. And you can scroll down to actually find Docs. Here, you'll sign in using your full email address, which should be your last name, first initial, at my.lowercolumbia.edu. So I might type smithj4 at my.lowercolumbia.edu. As an instructor, I have a different one, so I'll type that in real quick. And then you hit next. And then you put in your password for your email account. Once you've done that, that logs you into your Google Docs files and it automatically opens up a new document for you. The great thing is as soon as you start typing, Docs automatically saves it. So the second I hit a letter, there we go. If I go to the top left and click on the Docs icon, it will take me to my list of all the Docs I've ever created, which is very handy. But you'll see Untitled Document created by me just a second ago, I didn't have to do anything to save. It's automatically created. So if I wanted to go back and edit that, I would just click on that file, it would open back up and I could continue working on it. It is gonna be important that up at the top, everything is saved as an untitled document. You're going to want to change that by giving it a name. Otherwise, when you go to turn in the assignment, you're gonna have a bunch of untitled documents and you're not gonna know which is the right one. So there aren't as many features in Docs, but it's very similar to Word. You'll be able to see the file being able to edit, formatting, all of your fonts and whatnot. Um, and you know you're logged in also because you'll see an icon with your initial there so that you can type and be able to do all of the work you need to as a student and then be able to directly send this to Canvas. As a student, there are gonna be times where you need to access a document that's already been created by your instructor. 
Oftentimes, the instructor will create a template that you can open up and make a copy for yourself to be able to edit. So here's an example. I have Felicia's Drive. Here's a homework assignment, but students, I wanted students to be able to type in their answers directly onto this document. When you open it up, it is in a protected mode. You can't, as a student, edit it. You can't type, click in there, type your information in directly because that would affect the instructor's original template and then anybody else who accessed it would see your work. So what you need to do is create your own copy of this. Up in the top right, you have that sign in feature. You cannot access this document until you have signed in to your Google Drive. This is one of the reasons why if you believe you're going to be using a Google Doc or working with a Google file, you should just automatically sign yourself into your computer so that you have free access without having to go back and do that signing in. So for example, if I wanted to try and make a file or make a copy of it, this option is not highlighted and that's because I'm not signed in. So I'd have to go sign in and once you've signed in to your Google Drive it will remember it on your computer so you just have to type in your password from there I'm now signed in to my Google account so that I can go ahead and make a copy so uh, so file, make a copy. You then, yours will automatically go to your drive. And if it doesn't, you want to make sure you go to the option where you find the My Drive. The My Drive is your larger storage system where all of your files go. So we hit that. There we go, My Drive. Okay, so then if you want, you can keep it as copy of so that you know it's yours. Select it. Okay. And now you have a document that is yours to edit. Put your answers in, make adjustments however you want, and this would be the one that you go to submit. Let me go back you'll see that it's saved in your docs drive. So the only thing that can be confusing is when you open up, when you opened up the template, Google remembers that you opened up the template. This is the shared, so you can see the person, it's a shared document, this is not yours. So you don't wanna accidentally try to work in this and then turn in the copy. So if you need to, you can go and get rid of the template one so that there's no confusion you're only accessing your copy so that's why maybe instead of saying copy you can put your last name just so that you know that there's no confusion between your version and your instructor's version another great feature about google docs is you have the ability to share your document with somebody else up in the top right corner is the share feature where you can specifically add people from your accounts or type in an email address of maybe a peer in your classroom or somebody else that you either want to have access to this document to read or edit if it's collaborative. So, so if I added somebody, I can also adjust their role in this document. Editor means that they can go ahead and type directly in and make changes to the document. If you want them to just be a viewer where they can read it to give you feedback somewhere else, great. Or if you only want them to be able to have a comment ability on your document without being able to make change, you can adjust their role. The other thing you can do is if you want to send this to numerous people, but you don't really know their email address, you can get a link to it. If you want people only who are LCC email appointees, you can use that, or you can adjust by clicking that, that it's restricted, or to let anybody with your link be able to access your document, 
And as you see here, anybody who sees it is only a viewer. If you want everybody who sees it to add to it, so maybe you're trying to create a shared document where everybody is collaborating, you can make everybody an editor if you would like, and then get that link to be able to copy and paste to an email. So this is really great work, uh, a great option if you need to be doing group work in your class, but you can't necessarily arrange a time to all meet together and discuss. So Google is great. Sign into your Google account using your LCC email, and then you have a plethora of options to help you be successful as a student at LCC.